we, we talked about how you, your Iron Man kind of approach playing every game this year, not missing a game to injury since I think it's in high school. Um, last year, I heard you just went kind of straight back to the gym after the season, played Team USA. Do you, this year, are you going to give yourself a little bit of a break to kind of recoup your body? And oh, that that's being recommended for me, for <laughs> sure, from the coaches and uh, staff. Uh, it's tough. It's tough, though. It actually is a tough battle uh, for me every summer because, you know, let's say it's a couple of days I feel like I've been off, and if I feel like I feel good, I, I want to get back in the gym, you know. But I think for me, it's just just trying to figure out that balance uh, because I just I love I love to play basketball, just the joy of the game, like not even the NBA, just the joy of playing basketball. So um, it's my favorite hobby. So it, it's just kind of, it's going to be tough to figure out something else to do, but. Um, you know, I'll, I'll try to figure that out, but I'm definitely going to be uh, in the, probably in there sooner than later. <laughs> so, Deke, you just look back at the season. Uh, your road change pretty significant. You went from taking, I think, two thirds of your shots complete last season to take a lot more shots inside the arc. Right. Uh, pressure to run more. Uh, just, is that what you went to a conference this season? So, it should be more than like that 3 and D type of work prior to your guy? Um, I think, you know, I think I just tried to try to show my a complete game. You know, every year, you know, I, I know who I am and what I'm capable of and, and what I could bring to the team. So I never want to feel, I never want the coaches or our team to feel, oh, this is the only, this is the only thing you could do, whether that's shooting, whether that's, um, you know, I want to contribute on it in every end, passing, ball handling, shooting, defense, rebounding. So I just try to play as complete as I could be every year and, um, and then, you know, hopefully at least to, uh, you know, wins and, and whatever role that may be. I know you kind of jumped when you opened the folder about your cap demonstrating whatever it was. Yeah. What kind of progress report would you issue for this team as you guys switch that? Um, you know, for for us, I think the second half of the season was a great momentum for us. And um, leading into this summer, um, I think we know exactly what we, what we need to do uh, for us to be successful next year. And that's really, you know, that's just really positive and really good, great for us to hear because, um, you know, we, now you're not guessing like what it takes to win. We know what it takes to win now, and now just about actually doing it and putting in the work and and um, you know staying healthy and continue just to just be the best we can be. How did that kind of crystallize about what all of that looked like? What what you need to do in that step forward? It was kind of muddling through the desert for the, the first half of the season. But when did that crystallize? Uh, I'll say right, right before the All-Star break, um, you know, right before, I think we played at Boston and we went to the All-Star All -Star break and then kind of came off. I, I think we were close to 500 to finish the year after that. Um, and I think just seeing the wins, sometimes you just need to see it, right? You just need to go through those wins, go through those tough wins where either we're losing, we come back and win, or we're up by a lot and the team comes back, the other team comes back and, and we still pull it out, just having to see those reps. Uh, and see that we could trust in that. So, you know, it's tough to trust in it if you're not winning, but once you can see that result, um, it's, it's, it's great. It's a great feeling. So I think, uh, you know, we've seen enough of that. We've, we've learned enough to, for us to uh, reach a new level next year. How did you, when you had the 50-point game, I would say even happened before then, the attention on you was much different than it was your, your rookie year. Right. Is that something that as the season went on, you actually learned? to adjust with kind of being near the top of the scouting report? And is that something that you think you'll take, into, take with you this summer as you make kind of that leap from year two to year three? Oh, for sure. Um, like you said, we had a lot of different lineups throughout the year, especially during that, that stretch of COVID when we were a lot of people were gone. It was a different role, for sure. Um, so um, just having to see, you know, to see dif different defenses, seeing different matchups, seeing uh, how different teams play me. Um, and playing throughout the year is, is definitely something I'm going to carry into the summer um, and to make sure that I can impact the game and impact winning no matter what defense is thrown out. Uh, and that's the goal for me is to, um, you know, just to have, you know, a, a presence and a, a dominant impact every game. And it doesn't have to necessarily be scoring. It could be passing. It could be assisting. It could be rebounding, defense. Um, but just to find ways to impact the game in every way so uh, it makes it tough for scouts. What would you say is the biggest thing you want to improve this summer? Uh, it's crazy. I, I get this, I get that question like, probably every year since college, and I, I, I honestly have the same answer. I, I would say just 
trying to be as complete of a game as possible. I don't really try to focus on one thing. Um, I do, you know, want to sharpen up everything, the things that I feel like, you know, like even, you know, shooting or, um, you know, off the, you know, just shooting and everything. Like, I, I just feel like my entire game, I just want to sharpen up. Um, um, it, it doesn't matter what area or facet it is. I just feel like uh, just if I could have a complete game, then uh, I put myself in a good position. Dwayne said like a week or two ago that he, I think he said he told you that if you make the leap from year two to three, that you made from one to two, you enter like a different stretch for a player. Do you think like, kind of what you just said, it's not necessarily um, adding different things. You've done you've done a little bit of everything. It's just sharpening it right. and, and being consistent with it. That right. That's going to make you – that level of player. Right. Uh, like you said, I, I agree. I think uh, just hearing from a lot of the guys, you know, just hearing from around the league, those those players who reach those different levels is not, you know, spreading themselves spreading themselves out too thin and saying I need to work on this this uh, dribble move or this you know shot this step back. It's just I think sharpening uh, the things that I can see myself doing in the game and perfecting those and perfecting that craft. Um, I think that 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 would help me throughout the season. How fun was this season? Uh, just having the, the trust from the coaching staff to uh, you know experiment a little bit more, prove what you can do, and right. really kind of flourish in that secondary uh, third row. Um, you know, for for me, I feel like you know it, it's fun to play you know, basketball every day and every game. It was, it was it was fun. I think the only part that wasn't fun was the winning and not being able to play in the playoffs postseason. But um, just being able to play. Um, you know, in, in, in every game and being able to experience it is uh, was you know it was fun for me and just learning learning myself, learning how I can continue to grow, learning how I can continue to try to impact the game and um, and you know making it you know hard to, to label me. I feel like uh, that was fun to do um, and it's something that I'm going to continue to try to enjoy to do and uh, get better at. You talk about it being fun, but just considering <clears throat> you know some of the highs and. You talk about this foundation, the experience that everyone gained this year, and then considering adding another high draft pick. For you and your position, is this fun? Is it exciting? Or you know, how do you feel? Um, it's uh, it's tough. It's, it's crazy. I, I usually don't even use the word fun. I would just say it's uh, it's motivating. Like I'm so, I'm so locked into to the game. I, I want to win. I want to bring um, you know a trophy back here so bad that it's just like a motivation thing. It's like you know, uh, whatever pieces we add or, 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 you know, the team that we do have, I just feel confident in us and I feel confident in the trajectory of us, um, you know, each and every year. Um, so I think it's just, it's motivating. I think it's exciting for the organization. I think it's exciting for all of us because we could see uh, ourselves improving and I think everybody's just uh, one, you know, goal focused uh, is, is, is having a postseason next year for sure.